My name is Kaspar Spunde. I'm from Latvia, Riga. I represent a um, small, relatively small um, neighborhood in Riga, Czech Uh which is uh, approximately 7,000 to 7,500 inhabitants. Uh, this is how our neighborhood looks in a broad format. As you can see, it's um, not so big, close to the lake. Uh, actually, it's a um, historical uh, region, originated in the uh, 16th century and uh, has a historical roots. This is me. Uh, this is because of, uh, because of the title of this presentation. And I explain why. Well, at least I hope you will understand why. Um, I would like to start a little bit about the origins of the our society and uh, how me as a Kaspers, as a person, how I get uh, involved in those um, city activities, how I become an activist. Um, actually, it's very simple. It started uh, uh, when I was planning to buy a house in Riga. I found this one. Um, and uh, when I saw this house, I understood as a historian, I'm originally a historian, that uh, this house actually is very old and there should be surprises under this nice uh, plastic covering. And I was right, because I found the original uh, uh, plan for this house uh, in a city construction uh, yeah, library. library. and. Uh, after that, I rebuilt the house according to the plan. Of course, some additional uh, uh, rooms were made, but um, actually that house was um, built according to the old plan, and now we have a nice wooden house in our neighborhood, and I'm proud of it. Um, and uh, actually, this is the way how you uh, actually think of the, the, all the things around you. Uh, when, when you have done the, the territory, which is uh, nice looking, uh, you want to extend that territory. You want to make your neighborhood as good as your own territory. At least that was in my case. And so uh, I decided that, that uh, there should be uh, crazy enough people around me, uh, just like me, who are ready to do something uh, in a good way for the uh, neighborhood and the Chirukons Neighborhood Society was established. The very beginning of Chirukons uh, uh, Neighborhood Society started uh, again actually with my activity. Um, there was a, a crossroad with five roads crossing together and, and uh, here very close to that uh, there is a state income uh, uh, office uh, and the traffic is quite heavy and it's really hard for pedestrians, uh, cars and, uh, and bicycle uh, riders to cross that uh, crossroad. Uh, so I stand with a um, uh, poster that the police come and sign the petition to the municipality um, because something should be done and the idea was to build a roundabout. Unfortunately the answer was no and uh, no to me as a Kaspar Spunde and uh, at that time I, uh, I become very mad and understood that uh, something should be done. And that was like a, I, I call it a, a crash test. Yeah, you can ignore me as a Kaspers, then uh, can you ignore us as a, a local society? And um, this, uh, this, was, uh, this society was made in despite of municipality, you can say so. So, the society at the moment is four years old. It was founded in the year 2015. Uh, at the moment we have uh, 40 members. We are one of the biggest and one of the most active uh, neighborhood uh, organizations in Riga. Uh, we have three members of the board. I'm one of them. Uh, we have secretary, cashier and auditor. We have meetings every quarter, plus, of course, everyday communication uh, via social media. WhatsApp publication and uh, in Facebook groups. And of course, this is voluntary work and we have no salaries. Uh, there are a few, few of us. Uh, and uh, what we do, actually, 
uh, we stand for cooperation with community, with local community and uh, local entrepreneurs. And uh, we are for protection of community rights and interests, nature protection, development of infrastructure, culture and art, rise of local pride and patriotism, and care of neighborhoods, historical and cultural heritage. I will show you some pictures what we have done so far. Um, actually, when we started, we used uh, the culture events uh, as a low entry for uh, local community members to become members of our society. And it worked very well. The things we do, uh, playground, this was one of the first uh, initiatives uh, we uh, actually done, uh, and uh, it this was very inspiring. Uh, this was the uh, very first time when we get approved, proof that we can uh, uh, make uh, things done. Then uh, this uh, old Tsar uh, time uh, barracks, which were um, the Ministry of Defense uh, decided to demolish it down because they thought that it's Soviet time building because of the light color of the bricks. And uh, we said, come on, it's stupid. I mean, it, it's not a public area. You should use, and, and use these uh, premises and preserve them because uh, they're really valuable for the uh, neighborhood. And uh, then this, is, this was not a success story. Um, this is an old uh, thermal electro station, uh, which is located in our, in our neighborhood. Uh, we also stand to, for the protection of this old building. Uh, also, it's a Soviet time building, but it's nice and uh, was, uh, how to say, a part of this timeline of our neighborhood, and we want it to be preserved. Unfortunately, it didn't come out very well. They demolished it anyway, but uh, we made a big noise actually in, uh, in the media. Also, these are the outdoor, outdoor events, uh, cultural events we are making uh, almost every quarter. And as I told you before, this is for. Uh, low entry so the community sees that something can be done done by ourselves and we don't need municipality to to celebrate our own uh, festivities uh, we also are planting uh, flowers and, and trees and actually the name of our neighborhood chibukans means that the coal, hill or coal, cone hill cone hill unfortunately there is no um, pines anymore, so one of the ideas was to uh, okay. Hmm? Okay. restore the to pine, restore tree wood. pine tree wood in our neighborhood and we already planted 100 um, pines. Uh, of course we are celebrating uh, <coughs> summer, which is very popular in Latvia. Uh, uh, we are celebrating uh, our Independence Day, uh, one of the, uh, the like, same like the Ukrainian Estonia, last year got 100 year old. Uh, and uh, also recycling is one of the topics. 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 Uh, yes, and a little, about, a little about the technical urbanism. Uh, when we. This is a story I told you before. Uh, this is what where we started, the beginning of our society, and this is how it uh, progressed. Uh, uh, after we send a letter about this uh, crossroad to the municipality, we get answer that th there is not enough uh, casualties on this crossroad. And uh, uh, sorry, yeah. we'll, casualties. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and sorry, we'll do nothing uh, for you. And, uh, so leave us alone. And we said, oh no, uh, that is not going to happen. And uh, one day, one summer day, we decided to make this crossroad to be surrounded by ourselves. Uh, we printed out uh, road signs for ourselves. There was information that uh, this uh, system of uh, 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 yeah, around about was installed and please be careful. So everything was done, let's say, quite professional. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, 
And uh, the, the, uh, 30 minutes later, the, the police come. And, uh, they, were, they were a little bit shocked. And uh, they uh, started to ask questions to the people who were around who installed this. They cannot understand whether it's uh, official or non-official. <laughs> uh, then they leave. And uh, when they leave, we took it all away because our main aim was to prove that uh, uh, this uh, organization, traffic organization, will work, will work very good. And the big bus who is uh, crossing this uh, crossroad can do this roundabout, which was also one of the counter arguments from the municipality that no, 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 we cannot make a roundabout here. So everything was filmed, photographed, and uh, so we took it all away. And when the police come again, <laughs> there's nothing, no signs, no cones, just some leftovers from the lines on the street. Yeah, but anyway, we were called down to police, and uh, they asked us uh, who did this, and we said, we don't know, we don't know. Yeah, Londos, we'll dress Londos. <laughs> Uh, I, I like I like this um, because we really want to work uh, very intelligent. We don't like to make uh, uh, any threat to uh, anybody who is using this infrastructure. Uh, as the municipality said to us, if you are doing this, you are actually criminals. Because uh, if during this. Uh, uh, tactical urbanism act uh, would happen something bad, some casualty or, or what else, you will go to jail. And uh, my opinion is, well, actually we are making this crossroad more safe for everybody. And if uh, every day there is uh, problems with the traffic, uh, some car crashes or something like that, then you should go to jail. On, on everyday base, yeah, not us. And uh, yeah, this is also from the uh, crossroad. This is the second case, pedestrian crossing. Also, this is a uh, very important crossing for the uh, neighborhood. This part is Chico Cross. This part, there's a rail, railway, uh, there is a, another neighborhood. And this part, you cannot cross safely because the traffic is quite intensive from both sides, and uh, uh, there is a schools, uh, kindergartens, and everything, and a lot of kids are using this crossing, and uh, it's not safe, as you can see, because there is no markings on the street. So what have we done? Um, um, I hope, I hope, I hope this video will not uh, get into the uh, Latvia. Because I'm going to jail. Also, I didn't do it, of course. Uh, but um, uh, those hooligans become more professional because, as you can see, the signs are uh, original. <laughs> those, those are not anymore printed on the cardboard. Those are real original signs. Uh, the paint is uh, professional. So uh, all these all uh, horizontal, horizontal markings were done by those hooligans, so the signs were installed, and for six days, <laughs> this standard for six days, because nobody uh, in, a, in a city, no services could understand whether it's uh, done by hooligans or professionally, because we were asking that before. And, uh, and uh, let's say uh, hooligans, they are not actually hooligans, because uh, before they act, they politely ask, please do something. And in case they got rejections one time, second time, they react. Yeah? And this is the way how to actually uh, you can uh, communicate with the city. If city don't listen to you, please feel free to communicate <laughs> the way they understand. Uh, yeah, after the six days, this was sanded off. <laughs> Everything was sanded off. Uh, we started a campaign. We collected almost 400 uh, signatures under our petition that you should renew this uh, uh, crossroad, pedestrian crossing. 
uh, we are standing at the uh, crossroad and, and gathering those signatures. And uh, yeah, that succeed. And uh, they came back. They painted almost everything except that pedestrian walk. Uh, but they sent us a letter and they promised us soon there will be financial possibilities. <laughs> what? 200 euros. 200 euros? What? They will install that back. So we are waiting that this year, this spring, they will install that pedestrian walk back. Yeah, so I'm actually uh, finishing. Uh, I will let uh, tell some words to uh, Ali, which is the uh, chief. Remember, I was a board from uh, the no. neighborhood. I'm another hooligan, but I will not talk about my neighborhood uh, issues because I, I hope that I'll have it, uh, time and possibility to talk about my neighborhood. But uh, in order for you to not mix up, Czechokans Czech is one neighborhood, Alliance is the umbrella organization for Riga neighborhood organizations. So, as you see in the map, uh, Riga is quite big and small. We have 58 neighborhoods, different size and different uh, uh, in the population size. And, uh, we had, and we are around 20 established organizations for each of the neighborhoods, which you can see uh, in green color. And of course, the majority of the neighborhoods doesn't have official neighborhood organization. When I say official, it means officially registered legal NGO, right? So a uh, few years already before we met each other, you know, in conferences and seminars and urban uh, labs and so on, and we discussed like we need to raise the voice about uh, bigger representation of the neighborhoods into the planning system of Riga. Because as we all know and hope that uh, the best city is where the where, where the inhabitants' values and, 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 and hopes are considered, not that the two big guys come at the map and decide what's going to be where. So we wanted, uh, as, because we already were doing work in our neighborhoods as uh, vandals or less vandals, uh, we want to raise the voice in more like upper level uh, and to say to the Riga, Riga a local government that uh, there should be better government, governance, less bureaucratic uh, things for the uh, neighborhood people to do events, uh, you know, like um, tools to engage citizens. We discuss about how to, we think that we are in this middle level between the citizens and between the local city council, because sometimes local city councils Regulations or rules are, you know, hard to explain to the people or, or development processes are really in a hard language. We try to translate it in a more simple language and to get the feedback from the people. So we really clearly believe that we are the best. We know the best what is needed for our people in a neighborhood and we are trying to uh, give this response back to the city council. So last year, finally, after like two years discussions, uh, ten of our uh, ten of uh, the neighborhoods established the umbrella organization. We, of course, represent our own organizations, but we came under umbrella, and we have four uh, board members at the moment. Um, here are the board members: Kaspersen, two other big guys, and me. Um, and we have successfully run for one year. Uh, helping uh, what we are doing we are consulting those neighborhoods who doesn't have yet the organization but those who has exposed the interest in forming one so we are really like giving the, the papers customers <laughs> consulting them about legal issues uh, we encourage people uh, to found organizations because we feel that uh, if there'll be more organizations will be stronger so and I'll, our last uh, and not the least thing is uh, last year we initiated the public budgeting uh, initiative in Riga and we hope that soon enough it will be officially recognized and published. Uh, we want to gather more uh, money from the city which citizens can decide on what kind of developments could be there. So that's really shortly about the alliance and um, we are also on Facebook and later on we can ask questions. Thank you.